Welcome to our 2023 Fast Devotional. Today, one of our leaders is going to discuss a truth about fasting, goal setting, or first fruits, and then we're going to dive into the passage of the day found in our daily growth book. We are so glad that you've decided to grow with us this year. Hi everyone, my name is Christine De La Vega and I lead our discipleship department here at The Way. Welcome to our 2023 Fast Devotionals. Today we're going to be breaking down Mark chapter 3 verse 27 through 30. But before we do, let me highlight one truth on first fruits. And it is, God's abundance is always released in our life when we give Him the first fruits of all our increase. Look at Proverbs 3 verse 9 and 10 and it says honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all your increase so your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine you know the word honor stands out to me in that scripture and that means to worship give credit give high respect or acknowledge God and when we honor the Lord with our possessions and the first fruits of all our increase, the scripture says our barns will be filled with plenty and our vats will overflow with new wine. Overflow is breakthrough, breakout, break into, break over limits, increase, growth. How many of you want to receive that today through the giving of our first fruit offering? Let's get into Mark chapter 3, verse 27 through 30. In the preceding portion of this scripture, we see that Jesus had healed and delivered a demon-possessed man who was blind and couldn't speak. The Pharisees, in their hate and in their spiritual blindness, refused to believe that Jesus healed and delivered him by the power of God. As a matter of fact, they actually accused Jesus of being demon-possessed and Jesus responds to them now with this illustration from Mark chapter 3, verse 27 through 30. And it reads, Let me illustrate this further. Who is powerful enough to enter the house of a strong man like Satan and plunder his goods? Only someone even stronger who could tie him up and plunder his house. I tell you the truth, all sin and blasphemy can be forgiven. But anyone who blasphemes the Holy Spirit will never be forgiven. This is a sin with eternal consequences. He told them this because they were saying he was possessed by an evil spirit. So let's break that down a little bit. There's three things that stand out to me in these verses. See, number one is Jesus is all powerful and has defeated the strong man, the devil. He is our deliverer and our healer. The same way he healed and delivered this man in this portion of scripture, he has the power to heal and deliver us. He is more powerful than any strong man, any demon or any devil that may be tormenting you in your life. We have the power through Jesus Christ to be set free from anything that tries to bind us because Jesus is more powerful than any strong man. The second thing that stands out to me in this verse is Jesus's binding of the strong man and plundering of his goods means that he can grant forgiveness of all our sin. In verse 27 and 28, Jesus says that the one who binds the strong man can plunder the strong man's house. Then he immediately says, after that, all sins and whatever blasphemies will be forgiven, except for the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, which we'll explain. The forgiveness that is explained in verse 28 is a result of Jesus binding the strong man in, and plundering his goods in verse 27. Thank you, Jesus. The third thing that stands out to me in this verse pertains to verse 20, in this portion of scripture, pertains to verse 29 and 30. We see that Jesus refer to the Pharisees' claim of being demon-possessed by an evil spirit as blasphemy. See, let us never slander the power of the Holy Spirit 
by rejecting the truth and power of Jesus Christ to save, deliver, and heal. Those who do so are willfully blind to the truth, which results in an insensibility to the conviction and the power of the Holy Spirit. This unbelief and rejection of Christ is what Jesus is saying is blasphemy and leads to eternal consequence. So I want you to make a decision today to receive these profound lessons in this portion of scripture and don't allow any skepticism or unbelief to steal from you or keep you in bondage to the devil. The strong man has been defeated. Surrender your life to Jesus Christ. He is all powerful. He is our savior, our deliverer, and our healer. Let's close in prayer. Father, I pray that you bless each person that is watching this devotional today. Fill them, Lord, with your truth, that they know that you have defeated the power of the devil and they do not have to be bound by any strong man because you are more powerful than anything the devil tries to bind us with. So I loose them from all attacks of the enemy and I pray God that you would reveal yourself to them and the power of your Holy Spirit, not only to forgive their sin, God, but to heal them and to deliver them in Jesus name. Bless them this day, God, amen. I hope you enjoyed diving into Mark chapter three, verse 27 through 30. Please share what you've learned in the comments below and don't forget to share with a friend. God bless you. Thank you.